it's an arena. Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Last Epoch. This is our level 69 B rogue. Uh, I've got a grace period here until I move, but we actually have bees now. It's very dependent on acid flask and decoy, and we chose falconer because they drop more acid flasks, but I'm also testing dual streaming today to this YouTube channel as well as twitch.tv slash askjoshi. So we are connecting that right now and making sure that it's live. Thanks for joining me in the VOD if you are here after the fact. All right, so I see we are live on both channels now. So I'm gonna pop out the chat from YouTube, overlay it next to Twitch. And now I have discord.gg slash askjoshi as well. I'm gonna let them know that we're streaming live on both platforms, but I'm gonna point them to Twitch because the chat is just better. All right, so here we go. So this is the level 69 B rogue. Uh, I've got a passive point to spend because I did just level up and we've been putting them into throwing damage as many places as we can. And I think this is where we landed now. We wanna get six points in here. Okay, so the skills we're using are acid flask. Uh, we've got it doing some armor shred, big area. I might actually lower the area in order to get more armor shred, but we'll see how we end up doing that. Uh, this decoy, we have backup buddy, max decoy charges is the most important, but also it explodes and freezes because we're stacking cold damage anyway. Falcon, we've got dropping the most flasks possible and then uh, restoring health and mana. This is a uh, flurry that we've got basically just going as fast as possible so that we can regenerate health and mana. And we don't want to use flurry as much as we can avoid it. Sprint or dash or shift rather <laughs> cleanses all negative ailments on you and the uh, cooldown reduction um, and then drops flasks. <laughs> so that's basically the build. And now you're going to see it in action. So this is an arena. So we want to drop a decoy. You'll see that big ring around it each time. It is actually a little bit difficult to see anyway on this uh, tile set here. Okay, so Twitch is showing me a red bit rate, but I did test it earlier and it looked fine there, so we're just going to keep going with it until someone tells me that it looks really bad or sounds really bad. I don't know. Maybe it sounded really bad. Okay, so the nice thing about having lots of decoys... Hello, Kyeti. I was just explaining that we are dual streaming on Twitch and that it says I have a red bitrate over on Twitch, but you can help me judge and test both streams as we go. And you actually, I'm surprised you went to the YouTube chat rather than the Twitch chat. But welcome. Uh, the bee rogue actually has bees now. I can get up to 24 bees. If you'll see in the top left is how many I have at any one time. They're actually much harder to see on the screen. And they do die rather rapidly unless I hit them with lots of flasks uh, quickly enough. But we have quite a combo going now where we're in a situation where really we just need to build damage. And that's cold and physical damage both benefit us. Physical damage maybe even more than cold. I do also want to set up the decoys. Every time you see those big rings go out, that's my, my decoy hitting for armor shred and a uh, chance to freeze. And I want to get them like maxed on freezing. I see, I see. Well, if it looks and sounds just as good here on YouTube, that's great. We can always check the VOD later on Twitch. I don't really expect anyone to watch on Twitch because I didn't post about it anywhere, but maybe we'll see some Last Epoch, last epoch people uh, stream in somehow from somewhere, category or sidebar. All right, so we cleared a 75 monolith there and got almost half a level out of it. This is the part where leveling is still quick enough to be fun. All right, so I've meandered a bit. That's because of the XP tomes, but I see two more right there. Let's go for those. 
Level 69 to start the stream. Pretty nice. Okay, so here's the, the power of the two decoys and then just a falcon attack. See, I didn't even touch anything. These things are six levels higher. And all I did was decoy and falcon attack. <laughs> so now the flask, the endless barrage of flasks makes it even better. And flurry makes it even better. Now the real struggle with this build, because my potions get used for bullets, or flasks, you know, acid flask ammo. Um, I run out of potions and I die sometimes. That happens. <laughs> now it's up to me, of course, to just simply shift away. <laughs> but I wanted to illustrate how glass I actually am. 926 health. Um, my resistances are pretty good though, except for Necrotic and Void. Don't look at those. Everything else is 70 plus. Necrotic and Void, I'll die if I touch any of it, but we'll get to that bridge later and then pot potentially cross it. Um, I do have a lovely 2 LP Siphon of Anguish that we're about to go cash in at the Temporal Sanctum. Um, I needed to hit level 69 to forge this ring that I'll show you so that we can fuse it. All right, let's take a look here. So this ring here, Siphon of Anguish, Leech, Doom, Move Speed. I'm, I'm leeching a lot. That's a big part of my, my staying alive right now, actually, is uh, the Leech from Bleeding Heart. And then this accelerates it a bit and gives me some, some defense, some Fizz Resist, some Move Speed or some uh, elemental resist. So what we're gonna slap on there is this ring. Two LP off of this ring give us cold, physical, elemental resistance, or void resistance. And we have uh, some forging potential left. And now I have to hit 73 to forge it again. Do I wanna wait until 73? Not really. I don't wanna hit void resistance, that's the thing also. <laughs> but in the inevitability where we do hit it, the 25 percenter. We want it to be as high as possible. And we did just get half a level in like seven minutes. But yeah, I guess I can wait if that's, <laughs> if that's all it takes. Um, maybe if we get to the lag on fight and I'm not, 70. What is oh, man? Let's just see. Let's just gauge. Play by ear. Okay, so that clearly still hurts. My my uh, endurance is quite bad. So definitely don't want to play around too much. Damn, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention enough. That's too many big fire explosion guys. I, at least that wasn't an XP tome uh, monolith echo. Occasionally you'll see Caltrops drop. That is a 10% chance to drop when I dodge. And Caltrops are also throwing damage and stack like 10 times or something. But hopefully I'm not 
even getting targeted that much because my bees and decoys are... We got skill ups across the board here. I'll use that in a second. I'm gonna kill this idiot first. This is a problem. This is a real. Real problem here. Got a leech to live. Okay. <laughs> No potions. All right, we did it. Get out of here. Then we'll look at our skills. All right, so flask. The last point we spent was armor shred. If we leave a pool, we don't want to have a cooldown. No, no, no. Poison chance will convert to frostbite, so we do want that. Okay, decoy, we just got the backup buddy. We could have it cost less mana, or we could have more armor shred and frailty. Yeah, more shred, cool. Uh, bird, we were doing this. This, we were doing attack speed. More damage to bosses per stack is probably good for us, because it'll take a long time to kill bosses with just flasks. Uh, and here we just got rebound, so it's dealer's choice, really. Shuriken's thrown. Melee damage along path. Oh, that's the execute. Okay, I was trying to remember where that was. Probably increase. I mean, this is good, right? Just mana saving. This was the last point I took. Movement speed buff. And we don't care about shadows. Okay. Keep going. All right, this is an XP round, so let's not die. Let's not die. That's what they always say. So if I hit, yeah, R W, it just kills that group of mobs. It's just the decoy and the falcon strike. Oh, but that does not quite kill these. So I take less damage while moving too. Flurry lets me like move around very easily. So it's a good primary attack for refilling mana. Basically, when you use R and W as often as possible and fill with Q while holding down right click. And then E is just utility. <laughs> getting around, getting around utility. Oh, and then I want to pick up every health potion as a bullet and not necessarily a heal. Oh god, I sat in... Oh, there's a patriarch right there? What the hell? I didn't even see him. No! That's rough, our XP tome. I honestly did not see that guy at all. More mobs, more mobs. Uh. 
Yeah, just never stop swinging and uh, you won't die, right? That's basically it. Finally, my man streams this game. What's up, Don Veneer? Welcome. Uh, I've been streaming it on YouTube, actually. <laughs> Forsaken Twitch. Um, I'm really glad you're here, though, because what I've done today is the dual stream YouTube and Twitch. Check this out. Streaming to both at the same time. <laughs> so, what I would like to know is, how's the quality? Is sound and video up to snuff? 1080p, 60fps, as you would expect. Um, and yes, YouTube, because I am full-time freelance again, and I've decided that this time around, as the fourth time doing full-time freelance in my life, I would give YouTube a shot again rather than the many endless hours on Twitch. But I've been experimenting, and I'm not done experimenting. We're still learning as we go. January and February, I... Oh god, I'm gonna die here. Let me back up. Let me actually learn from my mistake. See how easy that was? Instead of just dying, I, I just backed up. Um, yeah, January and February I did shorts a lot of Pal World uh, just to see, you know, to learn more about it, uh, how the shorts were working, stuff like that. So I learned that 10,000 views <laughs> on a short is worth about a dollar, but because they are very widely shown, the exposure bucks are actually real with uh, shorts. If you use them intelligently to drive them to longer form video or uh, streams, so like stream highlights where you're like, oh, I also stream on YouTube, you know, blah, 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 every day. Um, stuff like that, connecting it all is good. But yeah, let me know how the quality is, please, uh, before you go. <laughs> On Twitch, I would love to uh, confirm that everything is working as I as it should. But I'm I never have potions, so this is always scary. All right, I need to get some ward generation going. Cold damage. Don't mind if I peel that off. Dodge rating Sentinel body armor though. I don't know, seems normal, great quality. Good. So my, as far as I understand, the Restream plugin that I've got for OBS, I've now switched to OBS after being an XSplit lifer. That's another big step that I've taken <laughs> because they have plugins that are amazing. The first one is a vertical stream where I can just set up literally a normal stream, this one, and a vertical stream at the same time. We did that several times with Power World to test it out. Uh, on YouTube, so I know that works in case I can ever stream vertically on TikTok in the future. Um, but this is the first time that I'm streaming to two sources using full bandwidth. So I tested my connection a few times and I can pull around 18.5, 18.8 Mbps upload. Twitch is kind of, I think Twitch is limited anyway. Um, like capped at, I want to say 8 Mbps, or it used to be 5 Mbps or something like that. Um, but since I'm a partner, I don't think it, I mean, it might not apply to me. Um, and then YouTube is like uncapped. So I'm just pushing 7 Mbps to both of them. So that's 14 of my 18 available. Uh, I tried to leave some space for like, you know, actually playing an online video game. But uh, the bitrate showing on Twitch is red for some reason. I, let me cover it after after we finish this uh, monolith. Explodes what I used when I first started streaming 11 years ago, dude. I be, I have a lifetime license from 2010. Q Eddie is in the YouTube chat right now. And he says it's du -du 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 dual stream. This is fun actually. Re replying to two different chats as well. I wonder if we'll ever get to the point where I'm actually having to awkwardly go between both. Um, tons of people. 11 years ago, I just stopped wanting to pay for it when I wasn't making the money to pay for itself. I think, yeah, I bought a lifetime license in 2010, and I believe it was only like 50 bucks back then. So um, that's why, that's pretty much the only reason I stuck with it. I learned it with uh, StarCraft 2 and League of Legends way back in the day, and then OBS kind of came around and I tested it, and sometimes Xort would make me mad with like frame drops or connection or... I guess that's the same thing. Um, FPS, I don't know. 
XSplit made me mad a couple of times only, only a couple of times in the, I guess, 14 years since I installed it. But honestly, they just have kind of fallen behind. I haven't needed an upgrade really in tech in a long time. Uh, or maybe I have and I just didn't know it. I've been falling behind. Um, anyway, to push the subject back toward Last Epoch, this lovely video game that we're playing, uh, Don Veneer, I must assume that you've been playing it yourself for you to make a remark, finally my man streams this game. Or are you just seeing the tweets and stuff that I've been putting out? <laughs> oh, let me get out of that necrotic because I have no res. Hey, Echo Conquered. Might have to drop something. Might have to Is drop my something. bag full? Wow, full of junk. Too much junk in the trunk. We already failed this one, so unlucky. All right, let's not die on this one, and we'll get the XP. I haven't played in one or two weeks, but I made a Shatter Strike Mage. I opened with a, a Sork, a Lightning Sork, Static, Chain Lightning and Static. It's super fun. Uh, I got it to 83, and then I was just like, I want to make a new character, you know, an offline character, because the first week the servers were kind of messy, you know? And then that ended up being my Squirrel Druid, Squirrel Beastmaster, excuse me. Uh, and I got to 100 with it, and I made a guide about it. So if you're interested in that, I'll link you up. Oh yeah, let me, I wanted to check that bitrate thing. Okay, it says 7k, why is it red? I don't get it. Should not be red <laughs> if it's exactly what I said it said. I got confirmation in both streams that it looks pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, I got a hundred squirrel beastmaster because he was really just a wolf and raptor beastmaster, and then I found the helmet 88, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I want squirrels. Clearly, I want squirrels. Obviously, I want squirrels. And then, while leveling other characters, we found all this bee stuff. And now I want a bee rogue. I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bee. Remember that song? Of course you do. Don't lie. Any more XP? Yep, there's one. Let's branch this way. We don't really care about Shade of Oribus on these. We're trying to just move up the line still. These lantern crabs are gonna kill me, dude. They're so mean. Also, these guys are gonna kill me. <laughs> They're also so mean. I don't know. They're actually dead. Never mind. Super dead. How did that one die so fast? Just from Falcon Strike? That's good. I guess my Falcon Strike is really strong. Fire pen, nah. Yeah, this seems to just murk them. Ow. Oh, I didn't see this guy throwing stuff at me. I was wondering about that. The bees! Okay, so the item combo that I have here that allows us to do the bee rogue. Let's quickly show off. We have the bee hat. Decoy releases eight bees when it explodes. Bam, decoy, eight bees. I'm dead in one shot. What? My entire health bar. Okay, anyway, bees. <laughs> Decoy releases eight bees when it explodes. When you hit a bee with acid flask against toxic coating. Toxic coating grants 50% chance to poison on the hit and 10% less damage taken, last 10 seconds, and can stack. If acid flask is converted to fire, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we got the vial of volatile ice, and I have one of these with four legendary potential on it, so that's why we're trying it in the first place, because I found a four LP ice flask. 
This one lets you convert health potions into extra bonus flasks that do more damage, 163% more damage. And that is a pretty high roll, 125 to 180. Yeah, 163 is good. Smoke Weavers, just a bunch of dodge. These boots are just a bunch of dodge. These are 112% increased chance to find potions because we're using all of our potions with this thing for bullets, basically. Uh, and then this one is 88% reduced decoy duration, so they pop really fast. And then 138% increased cooldown recovery speed for decoy, so we can spam it faster. And we have two charges now, so that's why we're able to do so many of them. If you do two charges and you don't have this, you just use, use, and then you still wait forever. Like, the cooldown's still really long. So this is like a necessary Kelthan Blasting Agent is necessary for the decoy spamming to get all the bees that we're then hitting with flasks and we're hitting with the double flasks. So everything else is leech, leech, and uh, some damage and dodge. This is actually just a really key, nice piece to fit with damage and dodge that we've got everywhere else. Uh, so legendary potential, we're gonna go do this siphon of anguish now, or when, when did I say 73? It says we can't forge it more until 73, but we also don't want void resistance anyway, so I could just go do it. Like, I'm, I kind of want to just go do it uh, so that we can survive maybe a little bit better. We did just get flattened in one hit, so if that's not a reason to go improve our gear, then I don't know. Let's go improve our gear. Temporal Sanctum. I don't know if we've even cleared it a single time yet on this character. Uh, Don Veneer, I'll ask you, are you interested in Stormgate, the new real-time strategy game from the makers of StarCraft II and Warcraft franchises? Uh, because that is getting its third faction in April, and I am potentially going to commentate or play it on stream. I don't know exactly yet. I need to strategize a bit more on that. And then uh, the other game is Gigantic. Gigantic is a hero shooter type of 5v5 game. Um, that died a long time ago, and it's coming back. Gigantic Rampage Edition on April 9th. And I, again, same deal, might play it a lot or commentate it. I love them as a kid, but I also had Greed is Good as a kid. Haven't played RTS in a long time. Gotcha. <laughs> Greed is good, man. Black Sheep Wall. Uh, Power Overwhelming was the StarCraft one. Um, gosh. Uh, Operation Seawall was one of them. I'm trying to remember. I, I'm gonna just spout out random ones that I can remember, but yeah, those. There was one about oil. That I used to. But Greed is Good was definitely the resource hack, yeah. I wanna say Operation Seawall was Reveal All Map. Power Overwhelming was definitely just immortality, kill everything fast in the StarCraft. One. Black Sheep Wall. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, gigantic is uh, kind of like Overwatch, um, except there's objectives. You have to try to clear like points A, B, and C, and every kill that you get basically is like scoring points for your team, and then every objective that you manage to secure by channeling it for some, you know, 10 seconds or whatever. Uh, gives you some amount of points, and then you beat each other up. I thought it died really fast the first release. So there was studio trouble the first time, and Overwatch was such a hit that I guess the exchange did not end well for anyone, right? But um, the game also had an issue of uh, stalemates and, like, the balance because of that was not great. So literally the, the way it worked out was any map that had five or three objectives was totally fine. Um, and be because, you know, one team would naturally control, you would tug of war over the middle, third location or fifth location, right? And you'd each have your own one or two locations to kind of defend. But if there was a map with four locations, which there were, I believe, two of them in the first go round, uh, the maps would end in stalemates like every time at a certain skill level because 
no one would want to be the guy to throw by going to try to secure a point that the other team had. And because it was like five against five and you only had to secure two points, you would basically just have this iron curtain down the middle of the two objectives each. And no one, if anyone made a move, they would just get destroyed. So it was like, if you try to make a move and get destroyed, the counterattack could just end the game and lose for us. So people would just yell at each other, like not to go attack and they would try to like snipe and it would take years. Like that was my, I remember that was my big gripe at the time because I really enjoyed playing Beckett, the character that does like dual pistols and jumping around with a jetpack. And that's who I plan on playing a ton of because it's very similar to Farah, uh, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and I miss Farah, but I don't miss Overwatch. Um, so Beckett, I'm just jumping around, killing stuff, running away. Anytime there's conflict, you know, it's pretty fun. I'm not trying to capture points as much, but I am an objective player. Like even when I played Overwatch, I played D.Va all the time so that I could play objectives. Um, and that's how I ranked up. But object, I, I honestly think Gigantic is a fun game and Beckett plays really well. Uh, I did have a backup character or two that I, I can't really remember. I think the characters are quite good variety, so I'm hopeful. Like, I really hope that it does well. Um, there's a video on my channel that's, like, Gigantic is back from October. And it has, like, 25,000 views, and I definitely did not expect that <laughs> at the time. I mean, they're still getting views. That's because Rampage Edition was actually announced finally. Um, and I just I didn't get a chance to capture any beta footage because I didn't realize that it was only one day. Uh, but now April 9th is like, yeah, two weeks from today actually. So um, I wanna plan out some early kind of guide material and maybe some cups if uh, that seems fun. But either way, yeah, I'm, I'm full-time freelance again. I know that uh, commentary is something that I can do regularly f for free, <laughs> you know, like very cheaply produced by myself. So eSports Cup content, even if it's just for funsies or very little prize, some kind of bragging rights, gift subs on Twitch, gift membership on YouTube, whatever it is. Um, that's a good way for me to like sow seeds of community, you know, it's very obvious who won if the only <laughs> winners are the, the only ones with badges in chat. Um, uh, interviewing players is always fun. Co-commentating with friends is always fun. So might uh, explore Stormgate and Gigantic. Also like just TFT. I'm still playing TFT. I'm about to hit plat. I'm gold too, but I was like 120 LP off of plat. So I'm probably going to make it the rest of the way there. Where do I go? Don't sow seeds of community, sow seeds of Discord. Discord is great for community. Discord.gg slash askjosh. Speaking of which. <laughs> ah! That poison cloud is huge. Oh, there's these guys. Didn't realize. Where do I go? Oh. Easy. Too easy. I'm glad that the decoy has like increased function now because I'm you know, it draws all the fire and the bees come out of it and they draw fire. It's awesome. If I get like actually stronger attacks, I can kind of pace the decoys a bit better too. All right. Boss time, don't mess it up. First time fighting time lady, mean, mean snake lady on this character, on the B rogue. Here we go. Here we go. Twist. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. 
and we're back. I think we're going to be okay based on past experience of the characters. She is level 55, and we are 70. D, 1, 1,000. 2, 1,000. 3, 1,000. Did she even make a little fountain, or did it die? <laughs> let's let's note the frostbite stacks. Except I think the bees are dying, so that's not really thing. Um, I was able to get 500 plus frostbite stacks. Um, a large health target earlier. D one 1,000. 2, 1,000. 3, 1,000. Come on, kill this thing. There's her little things. Frailty, mana regen, health. Health is a thing. I guess I'll grab another star dial. Alright, so we have our cool ring. Our two legendary siphon and our cool ring. Get in there. Wait. Oh, that's level 55? Are you kidding me? Alright, hang on. We gotta do something else then. Uh, Alright, so... Can't do... <laughs> we could do a volatile ice. Or we could do our gloves. God, I hate that. I didn't even look at that. Alright, um... That means it's going to be a while before we can fuse that. We can do gloves or volatile ice, because I know I have other ices. But we don't have good... That one's four. These are both one. Which is better. Yikes. This one's better, sadly. Okay. I don't have any good relics to, like, fuse with it, though. I don't think. Minion damage, poison, necrotic resist? Gross. Are these just too high level? No, they're mage, primalist. Void, endurance, fire, and minion. Spell crit. Uh, I saw throwing damage. Spell crit is kind of a waste, though. Ah, damage over time is good. Throwing damage and net. Plus one to net. But it's got throwing damage. Physical damage, mana regen, endurance, and lightning resist. That one can do that one could be good. To put on the glove well, I mean, this is I just realized now this is a relic and this isn't catalyst, so these are two different things. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> No! I don't have any catalysts either. I definitely don't have any good catalysts. Poison? No. Ooh, cold damage. And slow and freeze rate. What? Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. I use all those things. So let's add... Uh, Elemental damage or physical? Is that a possibility? Crit chance, damage over time, element just straight up elemental damage, but that's it feels like that would be less, a much lower percentage. Not spell, not minion hell. Okay, so it's gotta be either damage over time or elemental damage. I think elemental damage makes the most sense. Because we're getting hundreds of stacks of frostbite on them sometimes. Yeah. Add, okay. So straight up cold is maxed. Elemental damage should be next. Okay, and then... 
freeze rate multiplier, I want I want my decoy to freeze. So let's just double read what that actually does. Decoy's final explosion deals more damage and explodes in a larger area. All explosions base fire damage converted to cold, constantly less damage skills, blah, blah, blah. Explosions also gain a base freeze rate of 60. Each stack of chill. Okay. But this freeze rate multiplier is 100%. So it's now 120 freeze rate. So interesting. I see. I do want them to freeze more than slow. So let's freeze rate. I think I'm already slowing anyway. Like I'm definitely slowing things more already with uh, passives. Okay, so all of these are good. Let's rip one off for a volatile ice. Two hundred and three percent freeze rate multiplier. <laughs> yeah. God, that that's a really good. Actually, shoot. Should we save this for the four LP? I kind of want to. So we have the four LP legendary potential. We have slow, freeze, elemental, and cold. We have three forging potential to get slow up one more, basically at level 73. And then it's going to run out of forging potential. But all four of those are great, and I don't have anything better for the four LP currently. So we're going to weigh that. <laughs> we're going to think on that and not use it, not burn it for one stat when it could be all four of those amazing things. So these catalysts are just too high. Like, can I actually burn these? Crit strike multiplier. That doesn't help, but hang on. Can I even put this in the box? No. Why can't I? Because I can't use it yet? Oh, it doesn't have four affixes. Duh. Hang on. So if I were to use this puppy, I would want to replace cast speed for sure because I don't cast. So requires level 74 to forge anyway. All right, so that explains that. Gosh, this is going so slowly. Minion hell. Da, 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 da. Of course, those are more likely. I haven't been picking up catalysts in my last several characters. No! Well, damn. All right, gloves it is. Armor. These are all pretty good. Early candidate. Nah. Armor and throwing damage and mana are all good. Let's do armor, throwing damage, mana. Let's just settle with that. Mana does not need to be mana. So let's reroll that. Damage over time is fine. We got frostbite times hundreds, so. Let's add dodge read. Health. Endurance. I think endurance 
percent because we're at like 20 <laughs> yeah let's crank that up 73 to forge gosh should we just go get 73 no we're already here all right <laughs> the gloves the other gloves we want armor because it's the highest everything else is good actually solid gloves throwing damage sick so that's actually pretty much everything we have is throwing so uh it was already plus eight throwing cold damage now it's plus 19 throwing damage that's good that's good 2637 if we take them off 2088 Awesome, cool. And decoy is also throwing. And and yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so we learned <laughs> we don't have any catalysts. We have one really good one for the four LP, but it's gonna take a while to level up again. And the ring it has to be the next tier of. Uh, Sanctum, so let's go level up some more at the end of time. So with percent throwing damage, nearly 200%, plus all the other buffs and stuff, we really added quite a lot of damage, I think. Whoa, enemy of focus be upon me. Oh yeah. That thing died. <laughs> that thing died. Stacked up there, didn't notice. for bosses I have to pay attention to. I really don't have to pay attention for the falling snow. There it is. It was so long. Stop! 
No! But I lived. And we got a belt with LP. Okay, so that was our failure earlier. Let's go for XP in an arena. I think this build is gonna be good for arena. Probably. Because of the bees. <laughs> and the bee board. And the amount of health potions in one central location. Seventy-one. Easy, too easy. Oh, that's a lot in one spot. Oh my god. How did I live? The arena was not too tough. That's good. Good sign for the bees. Uh, we almost have enough to fight lag on. <laughs> I don't love fighting lag on. Lagon. Lagon. Um. There's some set or unique. Might as well go after. are not so bad with this build. Not too shabby. Alright, now we can go take on Lagon. So let's plow through these Quekos. Thanks for joining us here tonight on YouTube and Twitch. 
my first dual stream of many if it goes well, which so far so good. Dead? Did I fail? Oh. Did not fail. A quiver? I don't need a quiver. Get out of here! You gotta get out of here! Alright, next Queco. Island Battlefield. Find a way into Lagan's temple to destroy his stupid face. Bring your birds and your bees. Dead end. Me dumb. Act like you've been here before. God. I like that the decoy itself does a reasonable amount of damage, too. It's pretty good. If I could just get it to freeze them every time. Let's go in mm. I said let's go in order, but really I guess this is clockwise is the best order. Passive point. Let's go here because we're trying to get to six. Uh, shoot and scoot a little bit better than I was earlier. Just don't panic and hit E instead of uh, or no, don't panic, just hit E. Just shift. Just spin it. And you'll eventually shift out of danger. Or toward your target. Because everything restores mana. But I'm pretty much always at zero mana. Because <laughs> of the way the game works.
killing it. for them. To be killed by birds, bees, and glass. Two stacks of frostbite on him by the end. Yes. Let's leave. All right. Might have to drop some. A two LP volatile ice. We don't have any good <laughs> catalyst. I guess I could go gamble some. Or we could like target some. All right. Will Lagon whoop us to death with 944 health. Pretty good cold and lightning resist, max fizz resist. 20% endurance, 189 endurance threshold. Really bad endurance. And no potions. <laughs> Here we go. Gulp. Dash. Decoy. Bird. Dash. I did that preemptively. But I hope that doesn't make me die. Yep. I. Okay. Clearly my fault for doing it too early. No idea what damage we were even doing to him. Let's try again. I should never. <laughs> I just gotta figure out the loop. All right, here we go. R Q's forever. R. R, E, E, Q's forever, R, R, no dash, okay, <laughs> wait, we're, what, dude, you're doing too many, too many moves here, my Lagon, am I killing you too fast, is that, is impossible? Definitely not killing too fast. Yeah. 
Okay. I think this is winnable. It's hard to tell without the waves, but... Oh god. Keys forever. Red eye. E e e. Keys forever. I'm fucked. I'm dead. What? He did them so quickly, back to back. That's really annoying. That took freaking forever. So, do I try it again now, or do I just go get more damage? Is the question. I feel like I'll just go get more damage. Level up a couple times. 73 and 74, let us forge again. our way slowly out of this one. Okay, 72. Thank you. 
What were those? Falcon fists? Ooh, but they're weird. I don't want to use them in this character. <laughs> nope. Don't need. Um, bidum bidum. XP tomes? <laughs> That's what I'm always looking for. We haven't gone south yet. Maybe it'll branch out. Alright, 72. Gotten three levels on stream in an hour and 11 minutes. Probably get another one or two. Nope, don't care about that. Didn't even have legendary potential. Useless. Dodge. <laughs> right, what's this? Oh, Frost, you say? Oh. Wait, I missed one? Three hundred fifty frostbite on there. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> getting ahead of myself. Wouldn't let me go there.
freezy bees doing the work. Two seventy six cold. Uh, well, it's a two hander. and bird burst are quite strong. <laughs> Another one, but the dust. Might have to drop something. Let's break this down. Break this down. Break this down. <laughs> These legendaries we're not using. We do have some weavers, will, but this is ooh, oh damage over time taken. Damn, I almost misread that. Okay, so we have the four LP. 2 LP waiting. And it's not bad. It's a pretty good one overall. So that's good. Um, we just don't have a catalyst to use with it yet. I am realizing now I have zero prophecies active as well. <laughs> but there's two XP tomes right there, so that's all I'm worried about right now. If we were to get prophecy tomes, or not, sorry, not prophecy tomes, prophecies for stuff. I guess Helm? I want a good beekeeper's hat. Like, we gotta have a good beekeeper's hat. We gotta have a good relic. I need another one of those uh, crazy relics that we have. This thing. Kelthen Blasting Agent. Because the one we have rolled freaking fizz resist, and we're full on that. Basically, or we can very easily get full on that. A two quicksilver coil, not bad. I 
Do I want another bleeding heart also? We have we have the catalyst covered if we just use the 4LP one already. It does make more sense to use it while leveling than at the end game, in my opinion. Based on how few catalysts we found, that's probably a god roll for us. And it's not life or death stakes to roll on a 4LP flask that's only usable for one character. This character. Flask Joshi. Oh, we got these big bad boys. Two in a row over here. Do, 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 do. Okay, don't sit in there. Okay, don't sit in that. Come on now. What the? Is he a boss? Was that the boss? I just have two Healy guys next to each other? Is that all it was? Damn it. Why do I always lose the XP tone ones? Is that confirmation bias? Do I lose other ones more often? Feels like it's always XP ones. One thing that I don't miss from my fire rogue and paladin is I actually do kill the fire resist guys quite fast now. And the ones that resist cold damage are big wussies to physical damage usually, so it's no big deal. I do love killing Rhyme Giants before I even reach them. With the bird strike. This looks bad. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Oh, it's one of those. Lovely. Hate diamond matron. And this one is not taking damage. Hello? Great. Love that. But then she died really fast. Okay. Oh, that was the that was the boss. <laughs> Yoink! Goodbye. <laughs> My frenzied bees. Do get a lot of frostbite. Oh, didn't mean to click that. Ah. 
See, some stuff does really fast. <laughs> Bird Strike is real strong. for this boss because it'll drop avalanches rapidly on my head. pretty fast though. Melee cold damage. Break it up. another XP. God, I'm really glad those lantern bugs died. Lantern crabs. Storm crawling. Oh, we got the Lingari spires. Do not die to Lingari spires. Let's do this one fast. Those. Good, there's one right here. It's gonna be really hard to see with my stupid frost also. Just left, just left it. Didn't want to get zapped. More XP! Maybe we'll do one more Sanctum run before we fight Lagon. I don't know. I guess we we'll go to the Gambler and get some of the catalysts. To forge up. Easy. Too easy. 
I was wrong. Not so anything. I thought that screen full of mobs would do it. There it is. Did I have something on that could forge more? Was it this? Yes. Damage over time or fizz resist. We're capped on fizz resist, so damage over time. Good. Good. Mm-mm-mm-hmm. Passive point. Yay, more frailty from caltrops. I guess we should do more caltrops? It is throwing damage. I mean, <laughs> what do we have in the first tier over here? No. You reduce its dodge rating. Okay. None of that. Dexterity and glancing blow is not bad, though. Melee and throwing is really good, and move speed. So five points. We're looking at five points over here next. Okay. Should I go... I keep instinctually starting new echoes, but I do want to craft a relic and slap it on that 2 LP volatile ice if not the 4 LP See, I missed a legendary. Okay. I said let's leave, but really what I mean is let's decoy and then bird attack. Uh, but then it didn't freaking work. What the? Kill! Oh, that was the echo. That was the whole echo. Okay. we just pick up a dagger ghost maker oh that's a literal ghost maker for necromancers not for rogues like me okay uh gambler would be at the end of time or no is there a gambler end of time Dawn's back. Hello. There is one at end of time. There he is. I need some I treasure, catalysts to bet on. Hey there. Want to try your luck? Uh, oh, it was just laggy as fuck. Again? Okay. That was incredibly laggy. The blade might. And he only had one. 
Do I have to like waypoint out and back? Oh, refresh. Hello, game? Rare. Excellent choice. Eight three three oh six. It costs five hundred gold to reroll. All right. I'm buying all of these. Rare. That's a winner. This could go faster. <laughs> Why well, we came in Kata? Oh, because we have this uh, vial of volatile ice, but I have one with two LP, and I have no good catalysts to forge, like actually no exalteds. Does is the exalted rate like really poor? Should I just not be doing this? I was just gonna forge one up. These are all pretty garbage. Give me a few more. Not bad. Do you just not hit exalted though? Looks powerful. Spell damage, spell track. crit. I don't think these give exalts. I mean, I can't even go hunt any. Um, this is for baby characters. I was gonna just make one and, and forge it, though. I was just gonna like slap a couple of good stats on it because I only I'm only gonna get two. Finding a catalyst feels like it's going to take longer. I haven't been finding any somehow. Welcome back. Where's uh, Apophis? Wait, we already talked to this lady. Why is she still have a cross marker? No. Yes. Farewell, traveler. <laughs> Stay safe. Anyway, um, I guess I like we can't even target them, can we? I guess I could go fill out some prophecies, but even that is just like a pain in the neck. I just don't even care to go there. <laughs> I feel like even on this, there's never catalysts. There's always other stuff. Like even relics get their own one. Shields. Amulets. Yeah, shields, amulets, rings, daggers. I feel like, oh wait, is that relics? Oh, glyphs. <laughs> Runes. Keys. Yeah. How do I get catalysts? Other than just killing stuff. I guess I just gotta kill stuff. Do it. Let's kill stuff. <laughs> I guess I could go get a bunch of prophecies and just do like a couple of dungeon runs and probably find many. That's really the solution to finding loot. That is literally the system they have built. Shuriken. Chance to blind. XP, XP, XP. All right, let's visit the stupid observatory as opposed to the smart observatory. I knew and you say hi. I know speaking so freely of other, I knew Give you had me something to ask. 
It would be my stupid. pleasure to satisfy your curiosity. Catalyst thing. <laughs> Welcome, Prophet Goat. One minute. Speak with Gandhi. And then I go over here. And then I say, put on the stupid catalyst thing. Okay, we would want daggers and catalysts, I guess. Swords, mostly daggers, I think. None of that. <laughs> uh, here we go. Arena tier three. I will not be able to beat for a long time. Rare enemies and monoliths. I can definitely beat that. Exalted Catalyst. Death of Emperor of Corpses. We're not there yet. Monolith 100 Corruption. Also not there yet. But we could do that. Unique Melee Weapon. 300 Corruption. Might as well reroll. Unique Offhand Catalyst is not really what I'm after, but maybe we'll get a better Volatile Ice. Exalted Daggers, no. Do, 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 do. We're about to hit rank eight if I just keep going here. 240 Corruption, no. 260 Corruption, no. Arena Tier 2 is maybe doable. And now we just got tiered up. Arena tier 4 will not happen. Daggers. Chamber of Vessels. Sure. Daggers. None. Just siege. Cool. Sword. Sword. Pass. This is the most boring part of the game to me. 120 will take way too long. Two fifty? Why? One handed sword. It is also annoying that two handed sword, one handed sword have the same icon, and then weapon, just weapon in general has the same icon. <laughs> Pass. Pass. Oh uh, well yeah. I saw those daggers, but eh. Pass. Exalted melee weapon. 320 corruption. No. It's like the highest I've seen on one of these. Arena tier 2. Exalted offhand catalyst. Let's go try arena tier 2. I'm, I'm down to try that. Because I think this is a pretty strong arena build. And we're level 74-ish. 73, 74, 73 in the spot. Uh, arena, enter, tier one. Apparently we have not done that yet. I can't remember what tier two is, but we should be able to do it. Okay, we're on a mission for catalysts so we can improve our volatile ice so we can kill Lagan 75. We did almost kill Lagan 75, but then he mixed up his pattern and made me very angry at him. So I said, let's get some levels and a couple Sanctum runs. And our first Sanctum run resulted in 19 throwing damage, which is pretty good. One of the better outcomes. We are lacking in defense a little bit though, so I would like to stack that up some. Health, armor, endurance, style. Oh, here they are. Continue, harder.
harder, but easy. Dashing in circles, dropping decoys. Harder, but not that hard. Because I want to win.
Let's see what Frostbite stacks I can get up. I know he's killing my bees because he's dropping freaking avalanches. And we hate avalanches. Don't we, bees? Such a jerk. Stop avalanches. Stop. Champion vanquished. More? What? Mana efficiency with decoy? Okay. It's kind of a weird idle slot to use. Gonna try tier two now. 70. And I'm 73, but I've been killing 75 monoliths. Oh my god, this loot. Oh, he does that! No, get out of there! <laughs> Stupid. That was dead. Some good stuff. Easier. Hey, how important is a mic for streaming in your honest opinion? Wow. Well, very important. <laughs> I would say having a mic is definitely very important. Um, quality then becomes a matter of cost, right? So there's a headset that I used for years um, that if you just want reasonably good quality, it's called the Microsoft Life Chat. 1600 or something like that? I'll look it up real quick. Yeah, Microsoft Life Chat 3000, LX3000 is, you could probably find one for 20 bucks. Looks like 40 bucks listed, but LX1000, maybe lower tiers even, but Microsoft Life Chat is the mic that I used for the first five years or something like that until I got literally a Audio-Technica headset sent to me in like 2016. So yeah, I think I used the Microsoft Live Chat for six years. 
um, and it was just like a $30 mic I found at Best Buy. But because it was designed for Skype and networking, it's got a very good quality mic and it's just a USB plug-in, super easy. This mic that I have here is the AT2020 Star Wars mic, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I think it was a hundred bucks, 110, something like that, but it is kind of a, it's kind of an industry standard also if you've got that more money to spend, but it is also USB. It does not use a sound interface and that's why I like it because I'm very basic and I don't want excessive buttons. So I just manually switch between this and my headset mic uh, every time I want to do so <laughs> in the Windows settings. But I don't use the headset that often comparatively to the speakers, so it's not a big deal. I would say content without a microphone at all, it's like, why would they watch you if you just don't have a mic at all? There's so many other channels that offer just gameplay. Um, but if you're listening, obviously a bad quality mic can be off-putting, even more so than no mic. <laughs> so. Hope that was helpful for you there. I don't think you need to go above and beyond the cheapo headset mic that I've recommended and then this USB desk mic is great. The AT Audio Technica 2020. Okay, we're getting close to the boss boy here. And then we'll get some catalysts to choose from for Temporal Sanctum. Okay, this guy punched me in the face one time and one-shot me. That time he did not one-shot me. <laughs> There's a, I think I have 920 health and he literally just dropped me on stream earlier tonight. He was like, oh well, nice try guy. Bird, I need you. <laughs> Bird man. Okay, 25er. I see a shrine down there. Harder. I just spawns them all next to my head like that. This freaking Alright, next is going to be the boss wave slash round. Also doesn't matter how good your mic is if you have the charisma over rock. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't want an actively bad microphone chasing people away. Here we go. So this is the boss. This is pure gauntlet until boss. Don't screw it up. This guy has too much health. Did not like that. Thing one side is kind of beneficial. Well, maybe not actually. <laughs> Hard to know. 
Oh my god, please. Dang, they hurt. Why on the arsenal? I think he's easier than the last guy we just faced because he doesn't do avalanche. I think we can just walk around him and drop shred with dash. No! Oh, I saw the bow tie too late. Gah! <laughs> oh, that's annoying. I have no catalysts, man. I have to do Reign of Dragons or Arena 2. Oh, and it had to be the Crimson Blade, not Vion the Arsenal anyway. I didn't even realize that aspect. That sucks. Whatever, let's just go back to... I don't know. I don't want to fight Lagon right now. Though. I don't think I can clear Tier 2... Uh, Sanctum either. So we just get XP and get some damage up. There's a tome. Right, but uh, QEDI, the watching a video with no microphone. It just means you could watch any channel for that, though. Like, there's nothing to, s to say, oh, I would go to Ask Joshi specifically for the no microphone <laughs> gameplay, right? You would just Google it and then pick the first no mic gameplay that was pretty, right? Because there's no personality needed, no microphone. So making that content is essentially pointless because 100 people are making the content already. It's like non-content. It's just like it's just like copy pasting a, a novel. <laughs> so which website do you read the pirated novel on? Doesn't matter. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I think that I did do my StarCraft 2 campaign. I can't remember now if I actually used microphone or not. <laughs> Finding player that isn't horrible also, yeah. Sometimes, Eddie, I get tempted to, uh, when I look up a guide or something on YouTube and it takes me a while to find it or like all the results are awful or something like that, my default should just be to record my own <laughs> version of it quickly and upload it because it'll be better than the garbage that I find all the time, especially like video editing. I look for video editing YouTube help a lot and those guys are just awful a lot of the times. They're just really bad at getting to the two buttons you have to click, man. And I'm, I'm just like, I should just redo this so that I get the views that they don't deserve. I meant to make a new YouTube video today, and I didn't do it. What I ended up doing instead is figuring out the dual stream and testing it. Um, I did also upload two things to TikTok and one thing to YouTube. I guess I could see how those are doing, but they were just very easy fodder. Um, the Star Wars Brawlhalla crossover was cool, <laughs> very cool. So I just did it as like a little news short. Um, and then Magic the Gathering had a new set preview today for Outlaws of Thunder Junction, which is their Western Cowboys themed set. 
We have a train robbery. And uh, some of the cards are pretty cool looking, cute, and whatever. I haven't decided if I'm going to play it at all yet. <laughs> like, I actually reinstalled Magic Arena for the Ixalan revisit, and then I ended up playing it like zero. I, I did one draft, and I didn't get even the colors I wanted or something. Or like I just forced dinosaurs, and I went like one and three. I can't remember. It was bad. But then they had murders at Markov, murders at Karlov Manor, and I didn't play that at all. And now Thunder Junction. Um, but yeah, I want to upload a video tomorrow that's basically saying Gigantic is coming, and um, I want to do content for it. And I can explain again how it works. Let me check, uh, curious how that video is doing. Because it was starting to get views as we start streaming. Okay, it's already dropped off. <laughs> Great. That's incredible, actually. That's funny. Anyway. Where was I? XP tone. All right, we are past two hours of stream now, but 74 seems like a fine spot to stop for tonight. Lots of failure. Failed lag on, failed arena tier two, failed to find a catalyst worth a crap. Uh, but we did improve our gloves with throwing damage, so we are a bit stronger. And we did sink some passive points into some frailty. Frailty is always good to have a. Next we can take straight up damage from the Blade Dancer tree. Yo, what? There's two things attacking. Two daggers? Oh, that must have been a prophecy, yeah. That was not a prophecy? Yeah, it was. <laughs> but they're not the dagger I'm using. Which is called Smoke Weaver. Who's too many freaking lanterns sneaking up on me? What's going on here? How wit it? strike glass bottle strike
Oh, there's a big lantern. Hold still while I freaking hit you with all these bottles repeatedly. At least the stuff in the bottles is freezing and slowing them, so it makes sense while they're not, you know, while they're just take <laughs> getting hit by 30 bottles. Oh my god. Team, reassess. Reassess. that echo not quite 74 xp 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 nope one more we'll do it all right last echo has been called what do i have to do when gari spires So this will be the last one of the stream. Thanks so much, everyone. Don Veneer, QED, for joining in the chats on Twitch and YouTube. That's twitch.tv slash askjoshi and youtube.com slash askjoshi, of course. So that you can watch on whichever one you want. And I'll review the VODs to make sure that they actually look as good as I hope they do. But uh, everything seems to have gone well. No crashes, no severe lagouts or slowdowns. And tomorrow, I do plan on making a couple minutes video. I'm not sure exactly how long I want to make it, but something to get people excited for the return of Gigantic Rampage Edition. And see if uh, see if people are searching it, you know. Get some get some excitement brewed up. I'm really sad that I didn't get any beta footage of it though, or test footage from the one day it was available. But Two weeks is pretty short in the scheme of things, so we'll be here before I know it. And dead before I know it. <laughs> Probably. Alright. Did hit 74. Dash all that. And boom goes the dynamite. All right. Thanks so much for your support, watching live or on the VODs. And we'll catch you next time on Wednesday, March 27th, with more B Rogue, most likely. So, catch you later. <laughs>